Thanks for tuning in this Wednesday. 2K Sports presents the NBA. Tonight, we'll see San Francisco as they play against New York. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Here we go. And San Francisco starts out with the ball. In the corner, Tatum with it. Left side, Curry. You know, you were talking about Giannis. He can put up 30 a game without taking many shots from the perimeter. That's a tall order these days, especially because he gets doubled every single time. And Brent, when you talk about the best player in the league, Giannis has got to be in that conversation, correct? Yeah, there's no doubt, Kevin. I mean, the numbers he puts up are incredible. It's how easily he dominates a game and just how unstoppable of a force he is. You know, there's so many teams out there trying to find answers for what Giannis is doing to them offensively. But how do you equip a defense to slow down the force that is Giannis Atentacumbo? Oh, big time dunk, Bob and Carroll. I like seeing the aggressive side of this young man. The kick out to Tatum. Pass to Halliburton. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. Standing 6'5", Halliburton, one of those longer, lanky guards that can get out there and use his size to disrupt. And that one's good. Brunson. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And Carroll. And it's San Francisco with the rebound. Well, you could tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Now, here is Halliburton. And Carroll with the screen. And finished off by Bancaro. Oh, love that. Bancaro moves so well with and without the ball. Outside Tatum. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Curry. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And Curry, not one of those guards who shrinks when he gets inside. Brunson scanning the floor. Down low. He's looking for Steinemeyer and finds him. And the layup's good off the glass. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Outside Curry. The kick out to Tatum. From outside off the mark. New York leading by three. Halliburton for three. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Steady from behind the three-point line, Halliburton is someone you rely on to knock down a few threes. Halliburton for three. And so here is New York. Halliburton, that's good. Halliburton's got five points so far. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Contact just doesn't matter against Giannis. Once he's inside, he is not to be stopped. Now here's Brunson. No one near Bancaro as he lets it go. A three-pointer off the mark. Outside Tatum. And a miss there on the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Halliburton for three. And it's San Francisco with the rebound. Back to Halliburton. Here's Curry. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him. 
so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal. From here. And that concludes the first quarter of play. New York ahead, up by four. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for New York. How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness. Everyone here just playing for one another. And that can be infectious. Getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. San Francisco trails by four. It's Edwards on the wing. Back to Morant. Here's Yuck. Rebound collected by Levine. Here's Odom. And the dunk by Odom. Oh, getting to the rim with ease. Lamar Odom, the lefty, with the finish. And taken away by Brown. It's Odom high post. Out to Brunson. Pass to Brown. Shot clock at six. Odom. Lamar Odom. And he uses the glass on the layup. Odom's got the lead up to eight now for New York. And you see the unselfishness right there. Brown wanting to keep his teammates involved. Here's Hansa Takumbo using his size, Giannis. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And Brunson, here we go. Can't cash in from close range. And so it's San Francisco with it. Six-point game. Ren, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think it amazes both of us that Jalen Brunson fell to the second round, the 33rd pick back in 2018. So with that in mind, how has he overcome the doubters? Well, the first thing he got was opportunity, Kevin, and that's all you can ask for as a young player. What he was able to do in Dallas opened up the eyes of a lot of people to what he was capable of as a point guard in the league. But trust me, Jalen Brunson has never stopped believing in his ability and confidence to dominate a game the way that we've seen him do that in the past couple seasons. San Francisco shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. New York leading by five. Halliburton on the wing. And it's Stoudemire in the corner. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And so Curry will bring it up for San Francisco. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Oh, he really broke up that transition opportunity. Looks like it'll be a transition take foul. New York shooting their first free throw this game. You love Lillard because he loves the game. And this is a guy who just wants to be out there. He wants the ball in the hands. And he tries not to get caught up in all the drama that happens around the game. It's 100% focused on him. And the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort got burned on that one. Here in the second quarter, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. Curry outside. San Francisco again missing. Got a piece of it. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. A split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time he might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. Here's Halliburton. How about the reach from Giannis that time? He does not make any shot easy. San Francisco trails by eight. Here's Curry. Gobert pulls it in. Two for one chance here. Let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. Stoudemire outside. 
right side Tatum. Back to Stoudemire. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. And here we go. Fast break. Halliburton's got it. And it's slammed in by Davis. And when AD takes off from the ground for alley-oops like this one, it really demoralizes the opponent. Now Lillard banked in off the glass. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Curry looking around. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's New York holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. The one goal they had coming into this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. New York leading by eight. And many around the league believe Curry doesn't get enough fouls called in his favor. Uh, G.A., what do you think? Uh, there could be some truth to that. He gets held and grabbed more than anyone when running off screens, but especially late on drives to the rim. And Stoudemire just moves so well in that pick and roll, just cuts the D to shreds with that set. Halliburton for three. It's rebounded by New York. Now here's Brunson. Inside. Shot clock at five. Back to Stoudemire. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. San Francisco trails by ten. To the inside. Oh, and Anthony Davis is too much at the rim. Davis using his strength right there to overpower. He didn't say that in the early part of his career. We've got a timeout called by Taylor Jenkins. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Outside Tatum. Pass to Stoudemire. Now, Halliburton. Lock at six. Out to Brunson. New York, no good that time either. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And guys, that strength will serve Goncaro really well in the league, and, and we're starting to see signs of it already. Greg, with how explosive John ja Moran is, he has certainly taken his fair share of awkward fault. And that's what worries you with guys like that. He's already had a number of injuries in his young career, but we all just want to see him at full health. Here's Stoudemire. And Davis pulls it down. San Francisco trails by five. Here's Halliburton. Carries it down low. That's how you shoot a floater. Halliburton showcasing the soft touch. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for New York. Outside Tatum. Pass to Stoudemire. Find Devine Brunson. Gets it to him. Stoudemire the screen. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And Stoudemire is a menace on the glass. He's someone you've got to keep a body on. Right side curve. Off target from outside. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. To the paint, Davis. Anthony Davis, too much size. Well, you want to stop Steph in the two-man game, but he's so smart, he, he'll get others involved. Brunson outside. 
back to Halbert. Misses in close. Clock management. This is where they can get a two for one. And Kevin, every opportunity counts. San Francisco passing it around. Pass to Halbert. That's a floater go. Good work there as it goes. And now just a one-point New York lead. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this, just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. So we'll see Tyrese Halliburton go to the line here. That one on Davis. That's good from Halliburton. And Halliburton, a guy you just continue to see grow game by game. An exceptional talent and a great mind. Will not go. This is off the front eye. And we've watched three so far in this one. New York leads by four. We're going to step aside for just... Very well. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. San Francisco trails by four. Here's Morant. And Caro outside. The kick out to Tatum. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. How about Tatum there using his muscle, easily absorbing the contact and still able to knock down the shot. And you watch Jason Tatum year to year. He is a model of consistency across the board. The numbers are pretty similar, and the effort never won. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for New York. I like this throwback approach they're taking. Look at the score, high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. Throughout the game, the mid-range area has been their bread and butter, continuing to pull up from there with a tremendous amount of confidence. Just superior focus from Moran. His determination is what allows him to convert through contact. Brunson outside. Pass to Van Kill. Ron to Kumbo. The putback is no good. They got the opportunity to get the lead back. And they've been waiting for this chance all game long. To take the lead. Wow, Giannis with a strong finish inside. Giannis has great confidence, and he's playing with it here. We've got a timeout call by Taylor Jenkins. He's not taking any chances. It wants to huddle him up right away. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrich. Hey, guys, I caught Taylor Jenkins' message to his team. They were asking the team to play faster, push the ball. Coach told their players, hey, look, in this league, fast break points are the easiest. We need more of them. Can't argue with that. Kevin? Thank you, David. Oh, what a dime there from Giannis. Excellent sharing the basketball. Here's Lillard. And it's San Francisco with the rebound. Giannis left side. And San Francisco taps on two more. That's a pretty sweet touch there shown by Tentacumbo. The D cannot relax when he's got the ball, especially in that spot. The kick out to Odom. Lillard outside. Four on the shot clock. Over in the corner, Van Carroll. Off target from three-point range. Pass to Morant. And Morant throws it down. A true leader. You can tell Morant takes pride in stepping up when it matters most. Halliburton. And that one is good. 
And Halliburton looks absolutely unfazed by the moment. Morant drives in. Shoots over Lillard. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. New York trails by three. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That sends Rudy Gobert to the free throw line. That one's on Morant. A terrific end one on that one. Those are the kind of plays, guys, that win basketball games. And finished off by Morant. And the agility, the hops, Morant just explodes off the floor. Halliburton looking around. They get it again. Brunson outside. Goes back up into the lane. Anticipation and length makes Giannis a great shot blocker. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. Stoudemire left side. Halliburton outside. Stoudemire the screen from downtown. Connects from downtown. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. And so Steve Kerr calls for the timeout. Pivotal moment in this game. He's not taking any chances. He'll call time. Well, given the scenario here, how do you approach this next possession? Yeah, you know, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. Well, important there to have the three-point lead because only a three can tie it up now. And so Steve Kerr calls for the timeout. The magnitude at this juncture in the game clearly warranting a timeout. What do you think we're going to see coming out of this timeout? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a five. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. And now they foul and stop the clock. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a three-point game. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. You can bet that's what they're looking for this late in the game. They need that three. So a close game sees New York take this one. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game.
NBA on 2K Sports welcomes you to Wednesday afternoon basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. So New York wins the tip to the paint. Here's Halliburton. Jokic craps the miss. What's great about Jokic, GA, is he can put up MVP numbers, and he's <laughs> and he's got a little personality to him, doesn't he? He does. You, you can tell he just loves life. He loves everything he does, especially when he's on the floor, making his teammates better. Yep, it counts. Well, that's where you use your athleticism and agility to Jalen Brown navigating to a high percentage look. Here's Rose, and it's blocked by Brunson. And they pick up two. Rose has got his second basket. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Outside Rose to the left side wing. Jokic, no good. Now Brunson. It's rebounded by Leonard. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the 76ers. Outside Edwards. It's rebounded by New York. Van Carroll with the ball. Halliburton for three. Edwards with it. Halliburton picks him up. Halliburton with the steal. Two minutes remaining in the first. And here's Brunson. Kicks it out to Van Carroll. Over in the corner, Brown. A three ball. Can't get it to fall. He's missed the second after making his first. Here's George. Gobert with the block. Wow, insanely tough to get a shot off when Rudy Gobert is around. Wow. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That is his first foul of the game. It really just a great play to <laughs> sacrifice his body and take the charge. Here's Irving. Brunson with some nice D. And so Gobert will bring it up for New York. Brunson outside. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Yeah, don't let Brunson's size fool you. This guy operates consistently on the interior. Here's Irving. And that one, good. Fifty-eight seconds left in the first. Butler in the corner. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Three point zero hesitation from Jimmy. Shot ready on the catch. Nicely done. Here's Leonard. Rebound by Paolo Banquero. New York leading by three. Down low, Gobert, and slam dunk by Gobert. And vertical threat that is Rudy Gobert. What a ferocious finish at the rim. Pass to Jokic, stolen by Brunson. And here we go, it's Butler. Fires the three. Jokic grabs the miss. It's Edwards on the wing. Still yet to score. Here's Irving. Rejected by Ben Carroll. And that concludes the first quarter of play. New York ahead, up five. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports.
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? I love their effort, contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. And on the way from Irving for three, it's rebounded by New York. Here's Irving. To the inside. Here's Odom. Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Now the 76ers with it, trailing by five. We know Doris of Towns might already be one of the best shooting bigs ever. But Kevin, he flat stated and called himself the best shooting big of all time. He has an argument because not only has she shot the ball incredibly well from deep, even as his volume has gone up, his efficiency stays the same. This is a gifted offensive post player. And it's Halliburton penetrating and finished off by Halliburton. Boy, Halliburton going downhill on the attack. So few guys can stay in front of him. And we've got a timeout called from Ime Yudoka. He wants to check in with his team and regroup. Leonard, that's for two. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Leonard's got his first points in this one. You've got to keep the defense on their heels. And Kawhi consistently able to make pull-up jump shots. Brown outside. On the three off target. Edwards with it. Now Stoudemire defender. To the middle. Here's Towns. And Towns throws it down. Big time slam by Carl Anthony Towns. Love when he's playing with this sort of aggression. And there's the foul. It's on Towns. That is his first foul of the game. And the 76ers making a change here. Here's Halliburton. Some nice passing by New York here. Pass to Stoudemire. Back to Irving. And the rejection by Tatum. There's a pride to the defensive end of the floor. Tatum sends that back. Here's Stoudemire. In the corner, Irving with it. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. One fifty-three left to play in the first half. Here's Irving. And the rejection by Stoudemire. And I love the effort on defense from Stoudemire. More than capable of coming up with a big-time block on that play. New York, no good that time either. Now the 76ers with it. Only giving up two points this quarter. Bancaro, right side. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And great work inside. This is where Bancaro feasts. Pass to Stoudemire. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That one is on town. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. Free throw good, Stoudemire. Now certainly with one of the more unique shots in the NBA, Halliburton gets it done. You know, Kevin, credit to Halliburton and the organizations he's played for because a lot of them would have changed or tried to rebuild their shot. Halliburton and his organizations knew the shot worked and he stuck with it. And now he's one of the best shooters at his position. Puts it up from 15. And the shot no good, a bit short. They can go two for one. It's about being smart right now. Stoudemire outside. Kicks it out to Van Carroll. Brunson outside. No good on the triple. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. The drive by Mitchell. 
Boy, if he's got momentum, you better step back. Donovan Mitchell on his way to the cup. Stoudemire in the post. And it's good. Two points. Stoudemire's got five points now in the quarter. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort. Love the energy. Perfect. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. The 76ers shooting their first foul shot of the game. Three-pointer from Stockton. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. New York leads it by three. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Halliburton on the wing. From outside, off the mark. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the 76er. It's a three-point game. But Jason Tatum worked hard, being comfortable in tight windows off the dribble drive. That was a nice-looking move. Pass to Van Carroll. Plays it up and banks it in. Van Carroll's got his first basket. Jalen Brunson. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Halliburton on the wing. Hits the three-point bomb. And now a six-point New York lead. What you love about Tyrese Halliburton is the consistency from the perimeter. This guy can make deep shots. Gobert with the block. Halliburton outside. Pass to Brunson. Nice! Brunson working inside. This is why coaches love Tyrese Halliburton. Just plays the right way. Here's Irving. No good again that time. New York leading by eight. Out left of the wing. Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. Seems like every time, Greg, we see Tyrese Halliburton, he's wearing a big smile on his face. Talk about a guy who just loves this game. Halliburton is such an enthusiastic player, and that positive attitude really infects his entire team. Now here's Brunson. He's got eight. Halliburton on the wing. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Halliburton's got the lead up to 10 now for New York. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Halliburton deciding where to go with it. Ben Carroll left side. Ben Carroll draws the double. Six to shoot. Here's Butler. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. When it comes to players who like having fun, Greg Jimmy Butler has to be way up there. Kevin, did you see his media picture for the 23-24 season? He looked like he belonged in an emo band with that hairstyle. Jimmy is definitely one of those guys that likes to troll and have fun. Greg, you love this topic more than anyone. When you think about the best ball handlers of all time, where does Kyrie Irving rank on your list? Well, you know I think, Kevin, he's at the very top. I've never seen anyone else pull off some of the things he does. Certainly makes a strong case for the best ever. I think if you're talking Tyrese Halliburton, the thing that stands out is the wealth of things he can do on the offensive end. He can shoot the ball with range. He's got unbelievable handle. He can create. He can drive it. He can also set up his guys. A lot to like. Looking to end his cold spell. And that one's good, Irving. 
gets in the paint and drains it. Kyrie Irving, show off that touch. Halliburton outside. Brunson outside. Here's Ben Carroll. Halliburton outside. Bear down low. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Well, this is exactly where Rudy Gobert looks to score. The more dangerous he becomes, the closer he gets to the basket. Pass to Tatum. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Here's New York. They're on a 14-4 run right now. And a wide-open look for Halliburton. A three-pointer no good. Here's Towns. It's rebounded by New York. Now Brunson. He's got eight. Pass to Halliburton. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. And give him credit. Good awareness of the time remaining. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for New York. This is the most they've led by, 13 points. Back to Van Carroll. And the foul on Rose. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. First team foul. And so here is New York. The kick out to Brown. Stolen by Rose. A finish. Drops in the breakaway lane. I mean, look at Rose pushing it up the court full speed, not giving anyone a chance to catch it. I got ball. On the wing, Brown. Three-pointer. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Brown's got the lead up to 14 now for New York. Poked away. It's stolen by Stoudemire. Here's Ben Carroll. And finished off by Ben Carroll. And what a strong finish from Ben Carroll. His guys love when he throws it down. The shot by George, no good. New York leading by 16. Back to Levine. And the jam by Levine. Ever since halftime, they've played precision basketball on the offensive end. i got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. Brown deciding where to go with it. He's looking for Levine and finds him. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And New York leads by 20. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game, how it's been going for New York. Uh, they've made a point to protect the rim. Challenging shots all came long, and the block total is off the charts. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. Halliburton with it. George picks him up. Here's Gobert. Good. Nice job down low. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. Halliburton for three. In it goes for the fifth time in ten shots for him this game. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Halliburton for three. And again, New York with the triple. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Here's New York. 
They're on a 17-4 run right now. For three. Doesn't go that time. And here are the 76ers now. Wasted no time on that one. Here's New York. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Here's Brunson. Here's Gobert. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first. But Rudy Gobert showing a bit of an edge on the interior. This guy, if he goes up strong, the defense is going to have to whack him to contain him. He makes one of two that time. Let's it go with a three. And Anthony Edwards hits from deep. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And stolen by Leonard. No one near Edwards as he lets it fly. No good on the three. Levine inside the three-point line. Basket good. And New York leads by 21. And this is where Stoudemire's feast. And it's why his teammates look to get him the rock down low. It's stolen by Edwards. Pass to George. Out to the wing. Edwards drives in. So no problem for New York as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. I charge whatever I sold.